Yo, what is going on? I have no idea what this lighting looks like or anything like that. Um, but uh, hey, what's going on, nerds? My name is Corey Bergeron. You are watching Corey Bergeron Recordings. My birthday is coming up in a couple days. And for my birthday, my parents got me this GoPro that I'm currently filming on and this little selfie stick. And I'm borrowing my dad's microphone. So I got a mobile rig, which is pretty crazy. Um, today, Actually, backtrack. A couple months ago, I made a video talking about my Kemper, what it's like using it practically in the studio as an engineer, and in that video, I did not demonstrate it at all. Now, that's my most viewed video, so I figured it would probably be in my best interest, and maybe uh, it would interest some of you if I made a video demonstrating how I use the Kemper, what tones I use, and just, you know, kind of messing around on a little bit so you guys are able to hear how it sounds. And yeah, so I gotta go to the studio. I'm actually going there with the purpose of dropping off a drum kit that I'm gonna be using. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the studio, make that video, drop off the drum kit, do all that, and I will see you there. <laughs> all right, I am all set up. I have just restrung this Fender Telecaster. Uh, it has the Evertune bridge on it, and I also restrung a Gibson Les Paul. I am going to show you how I use my Kemper here in the studio. I've used it to record myself and several other artists. I have not created any profiles myself. When I bought it, that was kind of my intention, but I quickly realized that there are tons of profiles on the Rig Exchange and the Rig Manager that you can download for free. And there's also a bunch of cool ones you can purchase. I haven't purchased it purchased any yet. I've just looked up a bunch of amps that uh, I've used in the past or amps that I've always wanted to use. And yeah, it's really quick and painless. So I'm going to go through a couple profiles that I use very often. I'll explain what they are. And uh, then I'll just play a little bit. So uh, this is uh, this is how I use the Kemper. So the first tone is an AC30. I used to own an AC30. Uh, great amp, especially for clean stuff. It has a spring reverb. has like one of the best sounding trims. But uh, this is just running it clean. So I'm going to play a little guitar. And... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's just make sure uh, we're not clipping. And I'm running directly out of this, no EQ, no nothing. This is just, or no pedals either, just the Kemper. Guitar into Kemper. Here we go, AC30. Sounds pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hop on over. I'm gonna start using a pick here. And I'm gonna switch to a high watt. I have never, ever played a high watt in real life. Uh, they cost way too much money. But I uh, downloaded a high watt profile and it uh, sounds really good. It's really chimey, so I just put new strings on this so I wonder how it's gonna sound. Um, middle pickup, high watt. Here we go. Cool. All right, so that's the high watt. Again, a little chimey. Kind of similar sounding to the AC30. I'm not digging in too, too hard on it. But uh, big fan of that. I use that for a lot of clean parts. And it would be an absolute shame if I was uh, demoing clean guitars and not using a twin reverb. So here is a twin one clean. That's the name of the profile. It's a twin reverb. Um, and let's throw the reverb on it. I will say I'm not I haven't heard this thing recreate like a spring reverb the way that a spring re reverb sounds in an amp, um, but that's okay. So here we go. This is a twin reverb.
pretty cool. Warmer than the other two. Um, and usually twin reverbs are like really, really pokey on this profile. I mean, yeah, if I played on the bridge pickup, I could kind of achieve that sound, but I was playing on the middle pickup there. Anyways, that's a twin reverb. So now I'm going to switch guitars and play a couple high game amps and kind of just uh, talk about those. All right, so in my hand here, I have a Gibson Les Paul. Uh, this is a Studios Les Paul. If you know me personally and you play a Les Paul, I probably made fun of you at some point. But if I'm being honest, I gotta say that recently this guitar has grown on me a lot and I'm really starting to like the sound of humbuckers. Don't tell anyone, um, but yeah. So, I am using the profile. This is a high gain profile. I'm using an orange OR50. I've used the OR15s. I know bands that use the OR50s and they have awesome guitar tones, but I've never played an OR50. This is probably one of my favorite high gain profiles that I have on the Kemper here. So I'm going to play a little bit on this Les Paul. I just restrung it, so hopefully it's uh, going to stay in tune. So yeah, without further ado, this is an Orange OR50 profile. Sounds pretty good, and uh, I hate to say it, but so does this guitar. As a guitar player myself, when you picture playing through an amp sim or a camper or you know whatever, some sort of fake guitar amp, uh, you imagine it not being very dynamic, not being responsive, not feeling the same way as a real tube amplifier. Now, if I dig in, that's a lot of gain, but. And, you know, play dynamically just as if you were using a tube amp, which I think is really special. Um, but anyways, that is an orange OR50 tone, so let's jump into the last tone. This is another high gain one, um, and I'm going to find that one. Alright, so this is the highest of gain. Um, that I'm going to do in this demonstration. I'm a big fan of Marshall JCM 800s. I have a couple friends that actually have them, and when I've been recording bands, I have uh, I've definitely you know phoned a friend and asked for a favor and to use a JCM 800 in the recording process because those amps are awesome. They're also very loud, but they are awesome. So there are a million profiles on the rig manager on the rig exchange of Marshall JCM 800s. This is just one that I liked. Um, so yeah, let me uh, play it for you. This is uh, a high gain Marshall JCM 800. <laughs> Cool, so that was a really, really quick demonstration of how I use the Kemper in the studio. Uh, I've already made a video where I talk about it at great length and what I think the benefits of using one of these in the studio are. Again, I think I mentioned it at the start of the video, but uh, it'll be in the description. It's still one of the best purchases I've ever made. I think this thing's awesome, and uh, yeah, long live the Kemper. If you know of any good profiles, if you own a Kemper, let me know about them in the comment section below. I would love to check them out. And I guess that concludes the video. So, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, drop a like, join the Facebook audio community that's in the description. There's a link for it. Join the group. 
like-minded individuals, people that like guitar, people that like recording, all that fun stuff. Uh, my name is Corey Bergeron, and you have just watched a Corey Bergeron recordings video. Thank you very much for your time. I will see you in the next video.